This is the enemy on the march, somewhere in China. Some of you will meet these men. It pays to know what makes them tick. They look pretty much like any other soldiers when the terrain is normal. It is when they face primitive and difficult conditions like fording a swollen river that they differ from you. Differ in what they think, in what they feel. Like slaves, the Japanese obey their masters. Watch them with their horses. You can tell a lot by the way a man treats a horse. These pictures speak for themselves. Now watch them going through mud and muck to reach an objective. These men struggling desperately over impassable roads are used to dirt and filth and what we would call self-sacrifice. They don't consider it sacrifice because for centuries they have been trained to obey the will of their emperor. Human lives are worthless. The individual is without value. When we face conditions like these, we solve them because we know the reason for the job we're doing. The Japanese do not know. They simply follow authority blindly. When they start into battle, as they are doing here, this philosophy, so far into us, makes them damn good soldiers. But it's also their weakness. They can be beaten by men who are trained as well and better than they are. Because the men the Japanese are meeting now know the reasons for the fight. If these Jap soldiers had some cousins on Guadalcanal, they know how true that is. In these pictures, the Japanese have won. They've captured a Chinese village. But Yanks, with superior equipment, knowing how to use it and what they are using it for, will make them change these shouts of Banzai to Uncle. <laughs>